everybody, it's Will here again. Hope everybody is doing well. And today I'm really excited to get to bring you a comparison between two 1970s era Les Paul Customs, a 74 Kalamazoo made model, which represents the kind of earlier 70s spec, and a 79 Nashville made Les Paul Custom, which is a good representation of the later era spec of 70s Les Pauls. So let's get into what makes these guitars similar and what makes them different. If you enjoy this 365 Days of Guitar content, I would really encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, uh, leave a comment, share with your friends. Whatever you can do to support the channel is greatly appreciated, and I appreciate you all. I also appreciate my buddy Colin Baker for lending me this beautiful 79 Les Paul Custom. So let's start with the Kalamazoo made model. This particular one is a 1974. Uh, the Les Paul Custom was reintroduced in 68 and by the early 70s they were very much, they had sort of settled on this general spec. From 1969 they had a mahogany body with the so-called pancake body construction. I will try to capture the, the seam. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it appears there. But basically there's a slip of maple in between the two uh, strips of mahogany. This is still a totally non-weight relieved guitar. It's about 11 pounds, so it's uh, quite hefty. Um, the necks were three-piece construction, and uh, in the Kalamazoo era, they were mahogany necks. The tuners originally would have been Clusens. Um, this particular model actually has shallers on it. And from about 1970, you do see the volute which is this piece here which is designed to help prevent headstock breakage uh, interestingly this guitar has had a repaired headstock so there you go uh, the top curves got a lot flatter as the 70s went on as well compared to a 50s the bridge and tailpiece are the abr1 style and the lightweight stop bar tailpiece it had the Gibson patent number, or so-called T-top humbucking pickups, notable because of the T inscribed on the bobbins there. I believe in this era, Gibson was using 300K pots and the witch hat control knobs. Obviously, this guitar has had the plastics changed and the pickup covers removed. Featured an ebony fingerboard with uh, the fretless wonder frets, which are incredibly small and were a holdover from the spec of the 50s Les Paul Customs. Not great for bending strings, but wonderful for playing fast licks, especially in Les Paul's case where he used heavier strings. So again, one quick look there at the Kalamazoo made Les Paul Custom. They were made in this configuration uh, up till kind of into 1975 when the new Nashville plant opened. And you start to see Les Pauls being made pretty much exclusively there. Um, you can see models that appeared in the later 70s, such as the Les Paul KM that were made in Kalamazoo. Now, let's have a look at a Nashville made model. This is a 79. And let's just quickly run over the differences. So, the pancake body construction lasted from 69 to 77. So the first couple of years of the Nashville made guitars did have the pancake body, but this does not. It's a solid body there. You also start to see the shallower made hardware, the so-called Nashville bridge and tailpiece. And this, again, it originally would have had shallower tuners, but this particular example has been replaced with Grover's. Still retained the ebony fingerboard, but the fret wire was changed from a fretless wonder style fret to a Still a fairly low and wide fret, but uh, not nearly as tiny as the fretless wonders. Additionally, the necks, still three piece, but now made of maple. And uh, as I think about it too, the uh, knobs were changed to the speed knobs and the pickups were still the T-tops until mid to late 1980, when you start to see the Tim Shaw pickups appear. So both of these have fairly similar pickups, although interestingly, it's my opinion that they sound fairly differently, and uh, check out the sound samples to see what you think. 
One other quick little note, um, if you look at these, the actual kind of shape of the body is a little bit different on these, uh, particularly the shape of the cutaway there. Uh, this seems to extend out a little bit further, um, maybe a little pointier, I'm not sure. But again, it's just a very subtle little difference in the, uh, in the two types of guitars. You see this body shape come in more, you know, probably around 78 or so. May have just been a change in the fixtures and jigs or whatever that were used. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to listen to some discussion portion of the differences between the Kalamazoo and Nashville made Norlin era Les Paul Customs. Now, let's get to some sound samples. Thank <laughs> you.